And then we had to wait for the man from DVSA to come out uh. and he had to check that you got lasers in your pit. So if anyone walked in the pit while you was calibrating a vehicle, it would stop it yeah. so that no one... I said, why, why is that then? And old mate from DVSA said, well, as if someone goes underneath there, the prop shaft turning and they get caught up with their tie. I looked at him <laughs> and I went... You are. I said, who wears a tie in our industry at work? I said, nobody wears a tie. Brilliant. That was like, well, that, that is the rule. I was like, okay, yeah. yeah, fair enough. Hello and welcome to another episode of Talking Shop. Today we're joined by Sean from Lombardo's. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and let us know who you want on Talking Shop next. There is a lot that I've done myself, to be fair. It's mm. only little bits and bobs, really. It was all... Like I say, more off the back of Tim, really. Yeah. yeah. What I, used to, what, I, I sort of fell into it, didn't I? But, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did that all happen then, I suppose? It, uh... it just, he come into me yeah. and he said, oh, can you um, have a look at my truck? But well, I was through TransTech and everything. Ah. I was like, can you look at the, you know, can you look at this truck? So I looked at it with him and he sort of started waving the camera around and he went to me, oh, you're quite good on camera, aren't you? I was like, I don't know, really. I said, I don't mind acting a bit of a, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That's tip. It. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I don't mind doing it. So I said, yeah. Well, yeah, right. And then he said, oh, do you want to do a few more? Do you want to do a few more? I was like, yeah, yeah right, do a few more. And it just sort of yeah. rolled from there, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, it yeah. was great, really, how it sort of started. But mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's amazing as well, because this is like the last industry you'd think like people would be making videos of what they do. Like, I'm sure you go into a lot of workshops and they're still like, what are you filming this for? Or what are you videoing for? Or whatever. Well, but yeah, you do, it is a bit weird. Yeah. yeah. Because, but then... I know the kids seem to love it though, yeah. and all the kids seem to love it, and it's something for them to look forward to, isn't it? That's yeah. the thing. So yeah. yeah, no, they. It's great, really, because mm. like when I was a kid, that's mm. all I was interested in. Yeah, yeah. So it was either anything with an engine. It didn't necessarily have to be a truck. It was just anything. Yeah. Mm. So anything with an engine. Yeah. Was, yeah. Was that from family then? Yeah. Yeah. So my dad started um, the business, working on vehicles and stuff, and then he slowly. I always knew when I was younger, always knew, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to, this is what I'm yeah. going to do. You know, mm. I, all I wanted to do was work on trucks or cars or anything. So yeah, that's what I, nice. Mm. my brother weren't interested. No. He was like, no. And I was just like, yeah, trucks is, yeah. or vehicles in general. You know, dad just said, when I was younger, dad was like, oh, do you want a motorbike? Yeah, yeah, yeah I want yeah. one of them, you know. And yeah. just so yeah. sort of got to fix it, it yourself though when it breaks. Yeah, and, yeah. bits and bobs like that. But yeah, no, it was all right. Yeah. Nice. Mm. So yeah, things like that were really, really good. Um, oh, oh, there you go. There we go. Uh, yeah. I'll just listen to that show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. listen to that <laughs> a little bit. By the way, there is... Um, there is no real start to this. It's just struck. Yeah, just, we just, just talk and, yeah. yeah. We're Joe Rogan it. We've said this a million yeah, times, yeah, but we just, just Joe Rogan and then it. Just throw it all yeah, 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 we yeah, used yeah. to script the whole thing and don't work. Uh, it? No, no, no. <laughs> it's almost worse scripted mm. and on so unnatural mm. and we're so crap at scripted stuff anyway. Oh, so yeah, we may yeah, as well I just don't like wing anything it. like that. I'd rather yeah. do it. I was like, when we got married, when mm. me and Helen got married, um, my mum said, have you done a speech? Have you done a speech? Have you done a speech? I was like, no, no, don't worry about it, mum. She said, you've got to stand there and do a speech. I was like, no, I'll just wing it. She said, yeah. what do you mean you're just going to wing it? So <laughs> yeah. I said, she said, look, I've written some bits down here. There's some bits. I was like, yeah, yeah. right, yeah. And she said, any good? I was like, no. <laughs> not good. <laughs> not so yeah. Yeah. I just stood well, up so and just... Well, well, it's yeah. already you're under a lot of pressure as it is, aren't you? You know, so mm. to, to try and read off something, oh, you, you, yeah, I know this when you're shaking your hands. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just went to a wedding in Italy, and um, honestly, the best man has obviously done a few speeches already. He yeah. came out with like two champagne bottles and like popped uh, them off. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was like he knew what he was doing. He planned <laughs> this. He must have spent like weeks doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And he had like pages and pages of stuff to go on. It was like 45 minutes. It's like a show. Oh, really? Anyway, yeah, yeah, it was, it was wicked though. Wow. Yeah. If you're going to do a best man speech, yeah, he did like if a- If I plan anything, it goes wrong, <laughs> yeah. so I just don't plan. There's no disappointment when it goes yeah. wrong, it yeah. don't yeah. go as well yeah. as you thought for. <laughs> yeah, a bit Ash, Ash Swain and he's just winging it, mate. Yeah, just winging it. it. Yeah. Just yeah. winging it, mate. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, uh, sort of, yeah, I suppose going back to it then. So you were sort of born into then, really, the, the business, would you say? Yeah, no, so literally, yeah. obviously, like I said, dad started it. Mm. Um, and he did, originally, he worked for other people. Mm. And then in the, I think it was 1983 sort of time, mm -hmm. he started it up himself. He started, well, he lost his job and there was a little bit of land at my granddad's he could use. Mm -hmm. So um, with a workshop and that. So he started doing that. And then, um, yeah, and it just like slowly progressed from there and he started doing more mm. and more trucks for people and bits and bobs and, yeah, and then mm. it used to be like every Saturday 
Yeah. I, I'd be there. I'd have to get up in the morning and go with him and I'd have to be there all the time, all day long from like oh, about six years old. Must mm. have been easy six years old. And just, mm. yeah, we just, and it just slowly progressed and he got bigger and bigger. But I watched my dad like as he was doing it and I was thinking, there must be an easier way than this. My dad's like a professional struggler. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, you, you yeah. watch him and I used to watch him thinking, but he had no money. Right. Mm. So it was like, he just Mate got on and done what he'd done. And yeah, and we slowly started doing bits and bits and bits. And then until, until I left school really, but well, before I left school, um, he lost a lot of work because all the hauliers contract maintenance come out, didn't it? In like the mid nineties. Uh, mm. And that absolutely killed him. It, it, he struggled so much then. So he started doing cars for people. Cause I, at the time everyone was like, oh yeah, we'll get this on contract maintenance, we'll get this vehicle. You know, we're going to pay this much a month, blah, 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 blah. When you look at it though, and I, like dad was saying, he said, you look at it. He said, yeah, right. They'll buy a brand new truck and then they'll have it on this contract maintenance. Well, say they spend six grand on the contract maintenance, like on the, the agreement for the first 12 months. He said, what are you actually paying for? Mm. Because the vehicle's under warranty, so you're only paying for your inspections. They're printing money. Yeah, that is literally it. And it was like, and that absolutely done done dad's business for quite easy 10, 15 years. Mm. Absolutely done it. And he was just doing cars and vans for people. Yeah. Scania and Volvo. Scania, especially with the contract maintenance, they like properly pushed that, oh, didn't they? Yeah. Went yeah. mad for it. Almost sell the trucks with it. Yeah, I, I yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like an absolute mandatory, mm. mandatory thing. Mm. But mm. but the good thing is like for nowadays, for from a third party's perspective for you guys is, fair enough, you might have a contract maintenance, but if they can't get the work, the truck in the workshop for a month. Ain't no good. No. No, exactly. No. So no, good no. luck with your six grand contract maintenance well, only for it to it. sit in it's the car park. Now I think it's 12 grand a yeah. year or something like yeah. that. But like back then, so <clears throat> I'd, I carried on doing what I did with him doing cars, doing this, that, and the other, and bits of vans. And then, well, then I met Helen, and somehow along the line, I ended up getting her pregnant. So <laughs> that, was, that was like, she was like, you're not really earning much money, are you? I was like, well, no, not really. I said, but it's family business, blah, blah. Yeah. And we was like, she said, but we need to get a place of our own, this, that, and the other. I was like, mm, yeah, all right, okay, yeah, fair enough. So I left. I went and got a job. I went and got a job for uh, another um, commercial vehicle garage. So off I went and I said to dad about it and he was like, yeah, 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 go on then. Yeah, you go and do it. He said, actually, it'll do you some good. I was like, right, okay, yeah. So went and started this other job. I think I'd done about, I don't think there nine to 12 months. I didn't do long, but it was like, I was there one day and I was working and I was like, they got these vehicles and there was a local company. I was like, they got these vehicles coming in. They got them ones, them ones, them ones. And I was like, why am I doing this for somebody else? Mm -hmm. I've got my own, like dad's got, you know, dad built another workshop which he thought was going to make a big difference. But at the time it didn't because he sold his house to pay for it all and everything. And, you know, my granddad let him have a little bit of um, a little bungalow there and that, that he let him have really cheap. So then he, I was like, looking, I was like, well, we've got a pit in there. We got this, we got that, we got that. I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. What am I doing? The foundation's already there. It's there. It. We just ain't got the work. Mm. So I said, dad, I said, can I come back? He was like, you can do what you want. He said, if you want to come back, you come back. And I was like, right. Okay. So let's obviously speak with Helen and that. And it was like, I then got in my car and was driving around all his companies, knocking on doors, giving people business cards, you know, saying, where are you getting your work done? Oh, so-and-so's doing it. So-and-so. I said, well, if you get stuck, give us a try. And bits and bobs like that. And it, it gradually started to pick up and it was like, oh yeah, this ain't too bad. This is all right. And um, I was like, how can I move it a little bit further forward? I need to just do something that nobody else at the minute's doing. Yeah. So it was like when the Euro 5 trucks first came out, and I was like, I need to get myself a computer. I need to get myself a computer. I need to do that. So I brought my first computer mm. and started advertising. Admittedly, it wasn't a jail test. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Don't, don't say it. <laughs> Admittedly, that was not my first yeah. one. Yeah. But I brought my first one. Um and then, yeah, people started ringing me up and saying, a lot of advertised it a bit and that. And they said, oh, can you do an AdBlue fault on a Euro 5 DAF and that for me? I was like, well, I don't know. They said, what do you mean you don't know? I said, well, I've never done one yet. You know, yeah. I've not not yeah. done it yet. So I'd go around people's in my van and I'd, I'd be plugging them in and going through them. Oh, yeah, working it out. And never really had no massive training on it. Never, mm. no one ever said to me, oh, this is what you got to look for. you got to do this, you got to do that, do this, do that. And I was like, just looking at it going, we're working out. Well, that's that, that's that. 
oh, that knock sensor's not reading. Well, it's got to be that knock sensor. Yeah, we'll go with that, you know, and then it, you gradually get your experience from it. Yeah. And that's how it all sort of got yeah. bigger and bigger and bigger, really. Yeah. Um, how how long are we talking there, guys? Is it so it was just when, that would be just when my lad was born. He's coming yeah. 16 wow. in December. So yeah, there you go. 15, 16 years. Yeah. yeah. How yeah. long was the period before, from when you started, when you're like, right, we've got no work, let's get to work and start knocking on the doors like you did. How long is it before that's it, the diary's full? That you know. took probably six or seven months yes. before we started, before I started thinking, God, it's only me on my own and my dad. Yeah. And like, and I was like, what are we going to do? I'm going to have to employ somebody now. Yeah. I think we're going to have to like get somebody else to come in. So then I had another lad come in um, and I trained him from school. So it, it sort of, yeah, it, it, it took time. Yeah. And then, then it just kept growing and growing and growing. And we was like, oh my God, what's happening here? Yeah. You know, and I took another lad on and another one. And I was like, oh, this is getting good. This is getting good. And then it was like, we're outgrowing this workshop. Yeah. So I'd got a lot of customer base and I wanted to do tachograph calibrations and stuff for people because I found a lot of my time, I was running here, there and everywhere taking vehicles. I was like, I wonder if we could put a, like, a taco bay. And so we inquired about it and everything was like, oh God, don't think we can afford this. you know. Mm. And me and Helen sat down. We sat down even because my mum and dad obviously are still directors of the business. So we sat them down and we said, oh, we want to do this, do that, do that. Well, my mum was like, oh, I don't think so. No, no, no. And then dad was like, well, if you don't let them try, then we're never going to know. So we tried, we'd done it. We put a little extension on the side of the original workshop that we got. And then we had another pit put in there and a set of brake rollers. But these brake rollers then obviously done tachograph at the same time. And so we've done that. Um, I started going through all the training and having it all done. And um, we didn't realise the amount of the amount of paperwork and everything involved in doing it. Mm. It's like, oh my God, what am I doing? You know, why am I doing this? Yeah. All the paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. And that was like <laughs> paperwork in this country. We don't have to do much paperwork. <laughs> God, it was unbelievable. And then we had to wait for the man from DVSA to come out uh. and he had to check that your, that your rollers were a certain distance from the door, that there was a certain distance from the pit, yeah. that you got lasers in your pit. So if anyone walked in the pit while you was calibrating a vehicle, it would stop it yeah. so that no one... I said, why, why is that then? And I'll meet you from DVSA. He said, well, as if someone goes underneath there, the prop shaft's turning and they get caught up with their tie. I looked at him <laughs> and I went... You are. I said, who wears a tie in our industry at work? I said, nobody wears a tie. Brilliant. They was like, well, that that is the rule. I was like, okay, yeah, yeah fair enough. So, yeah. yeah, and we got that passed. Um, and then- they'll, they'll mark you down for anything now. Here, there's a stiff breeze here. Shut him down. Yeah. Shut him down. I oh, know. Yeah. It's, it's mad. And then like as well, they was like, oh, you've got to have what they call a linear track. Yeah. So if the rollers go down, you can manually do it. So I said, well, can I do it in this bit of the yard? No, no, no. It's got to be on a flat level concrete surface. Of course so I was like, well, I ain't got a flat level concrete surface. I said, use in and out the shed. No, it's not long enough. You can't use in and out the shed. All right. So I said, how long has it got to be? So he said, well, it's got to be 20 metres with five metres each end of run on and run off area. Great. Great. Lovely. Yeah. So got the building. Basically in. a runway then. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> That's literally what we had yeah. out the back of the yard. Yeah. We had like a runway. And yeah. It was like. We've done it all. And they said, yeah, that's perfect. I said, yeah, but I didn't realise it was going to cost me 14 grand. Mm. And I said to do wow. it. And they went, yeah. And it was like, pff, just, just mad really. Yeah. Sort of stuff. That's a big, that's a big expense when you're not even thinking about you're spending 14 grand on some concrete on the floor. Yeah. I mean, exactly. when you think you've already got everything in place that you need, somebody comes around and goes, oh yeah, no, you need to put some yeah. 14 grand into 14 this. 14 grand's mm. worth of concrete in the yeah. middle of the yard. Cheers. Yeah, yeah cheers, yeah. mate. Yeah. Mum, dad, by the way, you know that very expensive bay that we built for yeah. all this tachograph? Yeah, we need to spend a lot more money on it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My mum just rolled her eyes at that point yeah. and was like, well, you've got to keep going now, yeah. haven't you? What got, are you going to yeah, do? Point. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, we got into that and- that brought in loads of work. Yeah. I was going to say it must have like, because if they're coming in for that, then they may as well use you for yeah. everything else while they're there. So that made a big difference. And as well, then I said to everyone, oh, I'll do analog tachographs as well. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of the dealers now won't do it. Well, there's some will, but a lot will go, oh no, I won't do that because it's too hard. Interesting, yeah. And yeah. it's like a bit of a nightmare to do. And it takes twice as long as doing like the digital ones and stuff. So um, <laughs> I started doing that and then I just ended up getting 
like absolutely rammed with old double decker buses. Oh no! And just yeah, <laughs> all yeah. this stuff, and it was yeah. like, oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but no, it brought in so much work, so mm. much work. Yeah. And then, um, well, then out of that, we had to buy a bit more diagnostics equipment. So we ended up ringing you, lot. Nice. <laughs> there we go. There we nice. go. <laughs> How you been getting on? Yeah, good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been nice. To be fair, it is one of the better ones. Yeah. that we've got. Mm. You know, I've got a fair few different items that I use, but the boys will pick that up first. Yeah. Mm. Have you seen what we've done with central services yes, as well? Yes, I have seen yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real loads more coming through as well. Oh, is there? Yeah, it's no. still only really like a start. Yeah, to be honest, there were loads of more coming through, um, and loads more like RMI that we will be able to hopefully start selling and become licensed yeah. for. At the minute, it's just Daf and Iveco, but if you want to be able to get that data that the dealers have got, you can yeah. just start buying it because it's. So. Um, it is really, you know, that'd be good because the DAFs are the major mm. problem, engine yeah. ECUs and that. Really? Yeah. 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 For that. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely mad. Yeah. 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 Um, and yeah, no, I've, I've get no end come through the door and you end up going, oh, I got to ring the dealer, get the dealer yeah. out. Which we can do them now. I don't know if you can do them now. We just have to ring up, don't we? And yeah, ring up, up, buy your token, and then one of the guys will jump yeah, on and, and they do, do it, it yeah. like yeah. remotely do it, don't they? Which yeah. for you, I suppose, it's, it, it, it saves downtime. You know, two people having to take a truck to a dealer yeah. and then mm. coming back and then, yeah. you know. And nine times out of ten with the DAFs as well, you end up having to tow it to the dealer. Yeah. yeah. Because once the engine ECU shuts down, that's, that's you it. don't get a second chance nope. for them ones. Yeah, a bit like the air drives on the Volvos. They won't yes. start unless the, that's it, unless no, they're programmed. That, that's the thing. Strap it on and yeah. limp it down yeah. with the old one on. And yeah. yeah. Well, I've, seen that. I've seen the kit appear in a couple of Tim's videos yeah, now, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah no. where we do that. Well, it was when we was doing air <clears> suspension <throat> on Tim's. Of course it was, yeah. I got a genuine Scania one, right? Mm. And that is absolute rubbish really? for doing the air suspension compared to the gel test. Oh, ace. Oh, there you go. It's absolute rubbish. Yeah. I must have, I said to Tim, I'll get the Scania one, we'll do this, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, he said, right out. I must have been there the first time because he was like, oh, well, I want it to ride at this height. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Why? Well, yeah. it looks a bit too high. Yeah. All right, so there I was messing about, messing about. And it ended up throwing me out with a Scania one and it wouldn't do nothing. And it just, it kept saying it. There was a level sensor not reading. I was like, oh, I don't know. So I threw it away. Got that yeah. out, didn't yeah. I? Plugged nice. it in. I went, Oh, this is easier. Yeah. Do uh, it's <laughs> yeah. like oh Lord Mackley do it for me, right? I lower it to there, Tim. That's your minimum ride, that's yeah. your maximum ride. Mm. There's your drive and calculate it in the middle. And, and it's went, all done through the remote as well. Yeah. Yeah. Done. yeah. Easy. So yeah. much easier. Yeah. No, nice. Yeah. There is um Tim will love you to be fair towards it, especially as well if you're doing any other scan your work, which I assume you are, but the last quarter of this year and between so I suppose for the next sort of six months, the next couple of updates. Scania central services and I'll then hopefully well. like they'll start and make a move on um, RMI so the Scania TI right yeah hopefully you'll be able to subscribe to that through us because again we've done that definitely mm. eco and yeah so all come good stuff yeah Jazz this will basically be a dealer tool across all, across, all yeah. brands yeah oh, which is fun. yeah as a workshop I, I can totally appreciate how difficult it is sometimes you've got to have the capability to do anything that comes in that oh yeah yeah to manufacture it's like level. Yeah, it's like some days a customer comes in and they'll mm. bring the vehicle in. And it will probably take me or take us as a as a company, probably might take us a bit longer than the dealer on that certain vehicle. And I say, oh, well, if I'd have took that to Scania or so, yeah, whatever, they'd have done it in that time. I said, yeah, that's fine. I said, I understand that. I said, but you've got to remember, I've got to learn every single truck and trailer on the market and every mm. different system Bang on the on. market that's out there. I said, the dealers, they've only got to worry about that one that's yep. it. You know, it's... Yeah. And they don't really worry about it anyway. No, they don't care. Because <laughs> yeah. they're like, well, I just want my truck back. Yeah. 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 And no one's got no yeah. patience, are they? No. Yeah. No. no, which I'm no. sure you, you see a lot. Oh, really. yeah. Yeah. It yeah. could either be the pressure sensor in the gearbox or a new gearbox. Sell the gearbox. <laughs> Get a new gearbox <laughs> in it and kick it out. There you go. Yes. I know. Yeah. It's, it, yeah, it just is mental. It yeah. really yeah. is mental with mm. a lot of things. Um but no, it's going really well. Yeah, and it looks like you've got some decent, well, some good staff around you as well. Yeah, we've got some good staff. I've got one lad now who's been with me. It'll be 10 years this year, one mm. like one lad. Yeah. Um, and he pretty much, when I'm away and I'm not there like this morning, he'll sort the boys out with That's the work good. and he'll yeah. he'll get bits and bobs in. And um, yeah, you know. It takes a bit of pressure off you as does. well, really. Yeah, yeah. it does. Yeah. Um, they still ring me though. Oh, yeah. yeah sure. I'll go on holiday. <laughs> yeah. They'll ring me or they'll yeah. text me. We're yeah. missing you. Yeah, we went on Divert holiday. your number to <sighs> technical support. <Yeah. laughs> so we went like, 
um, about two weeks ago, we went mm. on holiday went week in Turkey and that. Nice. And I thought, right, I'll be all right this well. I'll be fine. The first three days was all right and it was really good. Mm. And then that was fine. But then they started like saying, oh, what about this? What about that one? But I just don't mind because obviously at the end of the day, they don't want to do nothing wrong. You and I understand good. that. Yeah. So if they ask a question. Yeah. And you can sleep at night knowing actually everything's being handled and, yeah. you know, yeah. things being dealt with properly. And that's yeah. it. It's like we come back off holiday and stood there and they, was, they all like gathered round as I, was, as I come back off holiday. And the first thing I'd done was went like drop my bags because I live next door to the workshop. Ah, right. Okay. Dropped my yeah. bag straight in the front door. Yeah. I said to Helen, I said, right, come on, better go around the workshop. Go to said, work now. You're not going to? No, I said, better go around the workshop. I walked in there and I was like, all right. They was like, yeah. I said, what do you mean, yeah? I was like, well, crap week. Why has it been crap then? I said, did all jobs get done? Yeah. Did all your MOTs pass? Yeah. Why has it been a crap week mm. then? Well, everything's gone wrong and this, that, and the other. I said, it's just business and that's yeah. how it is. Mm. Mm. And it's morale as well, I suppose, really. It's, um, it, I guess, did I see you as, as when you're in the workshop, it's laughing a joke as well, and uh, you know, no, no, they'll tell you something okay. different. I yeah. can be, um, yeah, yeah. I'm a little bit, I'm a bit hard on them sometimes. Well, you've got your business to run, us, I yeah, guess. You yeah, know, you've got to, yeah. you've got to make sure that things are done. Yeah, it's like people, you're honest with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to be because if not, one of them there, especially Oscar, who works for me, he'll rip yeah. me when he watches this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he will rip me. He'll say, "You didn't say it as it yeah. is." And that, and, but yeah, no. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, some people think, you know, how you see me on YouTube with Tim and stuff like that. People mm. think I'm like that all the time. Yeah. But um, you have your own stress. I think there was a clip I'm actually I saw that. in one of Tim's videos where I want to kick that stone at the drama. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. But uh, I suppose we, we, we touched on it earlier, but how did it sort of happen for you then? So he approached you uh, at yeah. first. Was that Well, was no, that right? he didn't really approach me no. as such. He was, like I say, so like, Obviously, Transtech said, can you have a look at this motor for Tim? And I'd known Tim because Oscar, who works for me, he'd show me. He said, oh, have you seen him? Like, oh, he's at Transtech okay. doing videos. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I said, I think I know of him. I said, I think I can remember him when we were younger and we used to have cars and drive about. Mm. And, mm. and then, obviously, they said, look at this truck. Yeah, so he came and that. And, yeah, and he started videoing that first one on his 4 Series with me. And then he just said, yeah, come on, let's do a bit. Do you want to mm. do a bit? Yeah, well, I'll do a bit with you. Yeah, People yeah. like the dynamic that you've got you know, yeah. between you, really. And there's nothing scripted, nothing's thought about or anything. Yeah. It's just straight off the cuff. Mm. It's literally yeah. just as it, as it comes. Yeah, mm. literally as it comes. And, yeah, we have a good laugh, really. It definitely comes have, across that way. Yeah, we do have a good laugh, to be fair. Sometimes if I've had a real rubbish day, or a rubbish week and I know I'm going out with him for a day or something. It like mm. relaxes me. And at the end, he usually, sometimes he's like the other day we went out at the end of the video, he said, do you feel relaxed, Sean? I was like, well, I was until we pulled back up here. And we're back <laughs> yeah. here. It all starts <laughs> again yeah. now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think it's good for you as well to be able to have that, uh, that sort of thing that you do on the side, if you like with him, yeah. rather than just every day <clears throat> being the workshop, you know? Oh yeah. Cause it's been like well, a massive part of my life for so long. Mm. Like the work, just going to work has been, normal like even as a child yeah go at work even through the holidays all my mates would be going uptown and i'll be in the workshop with my dad of course yeah and it's like mm. you know i i did go out with my mates don't get me wrong i did go through a phase and i did go out with my mates and this that and the other but it was always work it was always work and a lot of people say to me well how many hours did you used to work when you first like was trying to push it i said well i ain't great at getting up in the morning i <laughs> yes. so i said well i'd get to work for eight said, yeah and i'd probably work till 10 o'clock every night i was like really i was like yeah i'd work till 10 o'clock every night and then then at a weekend it wouldn't stop because i'd work a saturday and then on a sunday me and helen would sit up at like my mum's dining room table and be writing invoices right but i thought that was normal mm. because i'd seen my mum and dad do that mm. all There's my no, life no so to me that. that was normal and then mm. helen kept saying to me this ain't normal, Sean. I was like, what do you mean this ain't normal? She says, we shouldn't be doing this like this. We shouldn't be working all day Sundays as well, just doing paperwork. And I was like, well, what are we going to do? And it sort of, she pushed it. Well, she didn't actually. No, I'll tell a lie. She didn't push it. I sort of said to her, well, Jackie Jobbin, she worked at the local council. I said, well, Jackie Jobbin and come and work for me full time. She was like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I said, well, that's the only way we're going to stop doing sitting here on mm. a Sunday yeah, and doing it. And then it's like we do, obviously we did, tried doing some nights first, but then that was like one, two, three in the morning. And I was like, 
Yeah. Um, and I'd go, well, I'd get up in the morning. I was like, oh, I can't get to work. Knock on effect, yeah. I can't do it. And obviously I wanted to as well, still wanted to have my hobbies as well at the weekends if I could. So yeah, in the end, we just went for it. And she then started in a little office in, in the... um in my mum and dad's bungalow. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she had a little office in my mum and dad's bungalow and then eventually we built her one outside mm-hmm. and now she's just got another new office. Right. Because it's like outgrown it again. Yeah. So she went into this one little office and then we employed another girl in the office who was there for a little while. She left and somebody else came in now. And everything then went digital and all our inspection sheets and everything started rolling like into one like that. And I was like, She's like, I ain't got enough room because the boys want to come in the, in the office. And it was like, we were just ram. So we got her a little, another, we got her a port cab and we stuffed her over the other side of the yard out <laughs> yeah, the way. Out the way, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and then yeah. me and the lads can have our little, our little bit and we can, because yeah. we, because now everything's done on a tablet. Mm. We used to have job cards and you used to write it all out. And then I used to sit there and go, oh my God, I've got to draw for all this. <laughs> yeah. And then Helen was like, well, can you decipher what that says? Can, can you translate these? <laughs> <laughs> looks like a scribble. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where now with the tablets and that, it's easier because they press a button and they talk into it. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And it will write it all out for them. If they don't want to type it, they just talk into Brilliant. it. Brilliant. Yeah. I think you do that on Jazz when you're doing the diagnostic reports now, yes, the service reports. Yeah, yeah. You can do something like that. Yeah. I'm just waiting for somebody though, like it'll hear, pick somebody else up, go, yeah, that driver's a, that's on the report. On the report now. Somebody misses it and oh no, no. that's just gone out to the customer. But how's business nowadays then? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It is good. Um, It's a bit quieter. This, this last couple of weeks has gone a bit quiet. Um, but we've had a big expense because we've just mm. done another new workshop. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. good as well. Never ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've just done another one. Um, and that's going to be hard times for 12 months. I know yeah. it is because okay. it's a massive expense. Yeah. Massive, massive expense. Um, you know, and people help me out the best they could. Companies, local companies, um, you know, they got the prices right down. Because when I first started looking at it, it was like mm. six, seven hundred thousand mm, pounds. Wow. I was like, some years to, to get that back, isn't said, it? No, I can't do that. I yeah, said, I can't do that. And then one company done the building. They said, well, we could do everything. I said, what do you mean everything? Well, we do the groundworks, we do it all. I'll give you a quote. So they give me a quote. I looked at it and I was like, yeah, that's all right. And then obviously to get the gear to go in there. So like another pit and we want a headlight um, beam setter. Um, another set of brake rollers. They come up the price, don't they? Well? It all comes yeah. up the price, yeah. yeah. And it was like, yeah. oh my God, well, yeah. you know. Mm. We've now got three sets of brake rollers in the workshop. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. someone said to me, why do you want three sets, Sean? Mm. I said, well, because all I get is arguments from these lot. They'll go, I'll say, and well, what are you waiting for? And he'll say, well, I need the brake test. I need a brake test. I need mm. a brake test. And before you know it, a customer's on the phone. Is my vehicle ready? Well, yeah, it is, but we just need to brake test it to make sure it's okay. Then you can have it back. And so it was like... No excuse now. <laughs> no. So I just, I bought yeah. my mobile set and then I bought another in-ground set and it was like, just, yeah, mental. Yeah. Sometimes you've got to spend a bit to make your life a bit easier as well. Yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah. Which that's what I did. I always wanted to make my life easier. Like I said, dad was always a professional struggler. Mm. Definitely a struggler. Like now he would struggle. And I'll say to him, like, what are you doing? He'll go, what do you mean? Well, I'm doing this. And he's, he's 67 years old and he's <coughs> laying on his back in the middle of a yard doing <laughs> yeah. it. I said, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. Why don't you have it in there, dad, over that pit or on them set of lifts? Mm. Well, it's all right, isn't it? You know, and it's, yeah. that's it. It's generation thing, that's what they've always done. Yeah. Mm. And not, I suppose it is stubborn, I guess, but it's, that's how. Crack on. That, that's yeah. sort of their. Uh, that their is him all over. Yeah. 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 You know. Which I respect, to be honest. It's not yeah. just throw the towel, you know, but. Oh, no. But equally, it could be so much easier for them. <laughs> he could make his life so much more yeah. easy than what he actually does. But yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah he. Sure. He does make me laugh sometimes. <laughs> you see much of a need that is growing. It is something that we, when we've been doing it for years, but it's sort of like not everybody has had a need for it. But obviously legislation changes all these newer vehicles now, but the ADAS stuff. Yes. That's another thing, you know, you have yeah. to invest in. It's like windscreen calibrations yeah, and lane departure. Mm. And yeah. Well, I haven't got none of that ADAS no. stuff yet because I'm just yeah. a little bit on the fence with that. I yeah. don't know. Until it's a... A law, if you like, yeah. Then, yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah, because you can go into MOT with that all singing yeah. and dancing on the dash. Yeah. And you're like, well, you ain't got an engine light. You ain't got ABS yeah. light. 
good to go. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's yeah, literally, yeah, yeah, it will be a bit like what happened with in 2018 when obviously all the MOT law changed about the lights. It'll be the same in the, once they stipulate that, and then it'll be this mad thing of mm. everybody's then got to go and and go and get it yeah. calibrated before it goes in for an MOT. So. Yeah, another one. We'll have to have another bay. Another bay, <laughs> yeah. just literally I for that another next. one now. <laughs> so we're up to what we've got now, five now. Yeah. So yeah, we're up to five now. But like I say, we just had that last one done because it was, we was like, got so much work on. Yeah. And we did a lot of trailers, a lot of rigids. Right. So you, and, and buses as well, do a few buses. So you think I'd got five or six blokes there and I'd give him one truck, him another truck and him a trailer. It's all three bays full. So we're yeah. like, well, you'll have to do that one outside or that one, you know? Yeah. And it was like, right, yeah, okay. And I was like, oh, I've got to do something, got to do something. And now they've technically got, each of them have got a bay. They've got a bay, pretty yeah. much got a bay each. Um, yeah, and it, it has made life easier because even up until back end of last year, we were still working up until seven, eight, nine o'clock at night some nights. Mm. And it was like, Phew. yeah. And now we're like, Quarter to six. I'm like, hey, get on. Yeah, that's done. That's done. That's done. That's Brilliant. done. Brilliant. Wicked. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. And I say to them now at six o'clock, do you want to go home? They're like, what? <laughs> you want to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, that's now money well spent. I know it's a mm. lot of money, but at least yeah. now way of life is is easier. You know, your lads can go home. I suppose you're saving on maybe overtime a little bit there. Yeah, so. saves a little bit on the overtime. I've got to pay them and bits and bobs yeah. like that. But they can actually get home for tea though and actually have a life as well. So yeah. and that's like, important to keep staff nowadays, isn't it? So. Yeah, this is the thing. A lot of them, mm. they do want obviously a bit of a life yeah. outside of work. I, I done it. I, I always think that everybody is like me. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, work, 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 work. Yeah. yeah bang it in, bang it in. Yeah. Yeah. But it's mine at the end of the day. Well, some of my dad's, but he's given it, you know, I've taken, yeah, sure. taken it on and I'm like, I want this. I want that. I don't want to just get by in life. I want to be able to live. Mm. And then, when the boys say, oh, I really want to go home, really want to go home. I'm like, you must have too much money. I go, yeah, like, what yeah. do you mean? I said, well, they said, well, I want to do something outside of work. I mm. said, and then, oh, what are you, what I had been known to say in the past is, well, you ain't going to earn no money sitting at home holding hands with her in the front room, are you all night? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's probably not the best thing to say, is no. it really? But. <laughs> so as you get older as well, though, yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah. When you, when you are young, you, you lose sight of actually, what's important and what you should be doing with your time mm. and you get better with it as yeah. age. Like when I was, when I was 22, I didn't care how long I worked, day, night, whatever. Like now, some nights I'm like, I'll get a phone call, get a breakdown. I think, oh, I've got to go out to that. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I'll see if one of the boys do it first. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Part of your business. I forgot. Yeah. Yeah. So you have the recovery yeah. side to it. Do the well. recovery. Mm. Yeah. Work with a lot of other recovery agents around the area. Yep. Do stuff with uh, RS. Do a lot of RS. Mm -hmm. They give us a lot of work. Um, Millers, you know Millers. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. We do a lot with them as well. Not so much with Crouches nowadays. We used to do a lot with them, but not mm -hmm. so much. But yeah, it's yeah. because you work with RS. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, we do do yeah. do a lot for other people. This morning before I come here, I was just getting ready to come here, and RS phoned. Oh, oh, A14 no. break chamber. Can you go? Yeah. yeah, ring one of the lads in the service van. Okay, off he goes. Mm -hmm. You know, goes and does that. So it's another, it is another string yeah. to my bow, really, mm, having that as well. Yeah. yeah. Which in the long run might help you because that truck then comes into your workshop for repair work. So yeah. it's sort of like a win. Yeah, <laughs> a win, like win some win, of the really. jobs I get from them, they'll say, oh, can you tow that into your workshop and can you diagnose it? Let's mm. know costings. And mm. we go from there, you yeah. know, and it's, good. it is good. Yeah. It does work well and it does help because some days you can't rely on everything that comes to the door, can no. you? No. So it's always nice to have. And that was another thing with dad. He was like always very, well, we've got this contract with this one customer. I said, yeah, but this other customer dad wants to come in and wants us to do. No, because we've got too much to do with that. I said, we can't put all the eggs in one basket. And he was like, mm, mm. and he, he, for a little while, he was hard to convince. He was like, no, because you want to do that. I said, yeah, well, what happens if he goes yeah. down the pan tomorrow? I said, that's us with no work, mm. you know, we can't rely on that. So he said, all right, okay, yeah, go on. He said, well, you're doing it, not me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, on your head be it. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we keep, you know, that's how, we, how it all started really as well. Yeah. 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 When, you, when you did so, so you say, look, with your dad doing it as well, it sounds like there was no other th thing on your mind of another option, but was there something 15, 16 years ago before you decided, you know what, I could go back set this up, everything's there that I need, let's go for it. Or was there a little bit in your mind of, well, I could do something else as well. Is there ever? No. no never. You've set on it since day one. Like I said, from school, yeah. 
Oh, I knew when I was six years old and I went around the class and said, what do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to do when you grow up? And they got to me and I said, I will work for my dad. Yeah. And I said, what? Well, you sure about that? Yeah. I will work for my dad. Mm-hmm. Doing what? I said, repairing vehicles. And that was it. Yeah. And I was all, it was mad really. Like mum's got pictures of me at home at six years old in little ovals with a completely black face. <laughs> and, yeah. You know, and that, yeah. that was it. I wouldn't do nothing else. And every, every time my dad went somewhere, I'd want to go with him. And I've, I even like when we lived at our old house, I heard him like knocking about the house at like three o'clock in the morning. So he'd obviously been called out and I woke up, got out of bed and I'd gone, dad, can I come with you? He was like, no, you're not. You've got school in the morning. <laughs> school, yeah, yeah. I was like, no, yeah, no God, we could just sack that off. <laughs> yeah. and, like you could hear me mum. Mum was in the bedroom. Get back to bed. You know? yeah. <laughs> you're not Brilliant. going with him. Yeah. No. yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's weird. Cause like my dad was my best mate. Do you mm. know what I mean? So it yeah. was yeah. everything done. Absolutely everything yeah, together. And, yeah, yeah, and then he got me into doing my racing and stuff like that. And mm. which your your lad is he is he into that? Now? Yeah, he my lad's that? into yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. now yeah. Mm. Um, he when just we, when we spoke last, I know uh, it was the Friday, wasn't it? Just before the weekend, uh, yeah. and you were you were sort of fixing up ready to <laughs> yeah we were sorting him out so he's just won the the junior grass championship uh mm. last weekend he just finished that and he's won that so wow. oh, well, we've got to move him up a up a class now yeah. but yeah he's he's loving it but he started doing that at a young age um and he but he was doing tarmac racing before he'd done grass and we always looked at him and said, oh, I don't think he'll ever be any good. You know, we always thought he ain't quite got that. He loved to go round and mm-hmm. ride round. Mm-hmm. And like when we go practicing on a, on a Saturday, if we, in that, he'd be like one of the fastest kids lap times out there. He put him in a race mm-hmm. and he'd wait for him. He'd come off a line and he'd watch him and he'd be looking like <laughs> go on, this. Then. Yeah, go on, mate. Yeah, you go first. Yes. Yeah, you go first. Oh, bless him. And he was a little bit like that. And I was like, and even Helen's dad, he used to come with us all the time and he said, I don't think he's got a competitive bone in his body, Sean. He said, I don't think he's like you are. He's not going to, because obviously I've raced since I was young mm. and that's it. It's just flat out. And and I said, well, I don't know. Worry about might, the injuries later. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, I, I don't know. It might come. It might come. And COVID it and he didn't want to do nothing. Obviously, he, all they, you know, everyone did. They just sat about, couldn't go nowhere, couldn't do nothing. And uh, when we could go back racing again, I said to him, do you want to go back racing? Well, don't know, don't know, don't know. So we went, <clears throat> left it, went to this grass meeting that I'd been to before. And um, I said to him, do you have a go at this? Yeah, all right, I'll have a go at this. So we, he started having a little go and got on all right. And then I built him one. I built him his own because we borrowed one off his uncle that his uncle had oh, got. Okay. So then I built him his own. Oh my God, it was like a light switch. We just mm. didn't know where it come from. We sent him out in it and I was like, hey, I said, where did you learn to drive like that? <laughs> yeah. I said, he said, I just watch you dad, didn't I? And oh. I've, I've watched this on the telly and That's I've nice. watched that and I've, you know, mm. and it was like, oh my God. Almost a bit of a break, but a rest there I actually did, did yeah. the world of good. Yeah, it did in the world of good, yeah. Off he went again. And off he went and he's, yeah. he's perfect. Oh now, wow. Really. He's doing really, really That's well. That's really good. So I've had to retire for a little while at the moment. Really, yeah? Yes, to concentrate on him. Had me orders from her indoors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> but that's all I've done all like, right. Sure. As much as I could do. Well, you could pass your knowledge down now. You know, yeah, and, and yeah. But I said to him before, I said, do I go back to tarmac racing? No. Nope. Just want to do my grass. That's what he's set That's on. That's what he's set on. Yeah, doing, yeah. So, yeah. Which is good. It's good, and, and obviously now, we'll, um, I suppose, doing so well, it's just on to the next thing, isn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah. So yeah. we'll see what how he gets on. Oh, good to hear. Right. But it's like like him. He's now nearly sixteen. Yeah. What are you gonna do when he leaves school, Keaton? Mm. Don't know, Dad. Or are you gonna come and? He's done his work experience with us in the workshop. Oh yeah. And I give him jobs to do. I said to him, oh, "I can take exhaust off that truck. Yeah, no problem." And he could do it. He put another one on and bits and bobs. Um, but what I do find as well with the the younger generation and the apprentices coming in, you say to them, they'll say, you'll give them a task to do. So something as simple as putting a set of brake pads in, and they'll be like, "Oh, I'm not too sure." Blah blah blah. Yeah, well, I'll show you. Yeah, I'll guide them through it. The moment you say, "Go and pick that jail tester and plug that mm. into that motor and see if you can connect to it," thirty mm. seconds, mate. They're in. Done. They're done. Yeah. They're like, "Yeah, I got it. Faults this, mate." I'm like, yeah. "Wow." I'm not yeah. even showing you how to use yeah. it. You yeah. know, yeah. I'll give that to my dad, and he's mm. like, "Oh, does this thing work?" Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's bad. Yeah. Which is literally is is a generation thing. We, you know, uh, same for us, I guess. Using the kit, you know, we've grown up. You need all three generations to do the job in a way, don't you? You no, need so, your yeah. son. You need you, and you. Need- yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's mad, isn't yeah, it? It's a you bit just, of a crossover, really, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. Mm. Or, you know, they'll say, this is the fault, but I don't know where it is. Right. Yeah. 
So, or I don't know what I'm really looking for, yeah. but they, but they can use that. Brilliant. Yeah. So like when it comes to programming ECUs and stuff. Yeah. They off the go. They can, <laughs> they're on it. Problem. Which to be fair, probably will be more of the future of repair. Mm. As again, it keeps going on more electrical, more electrical, more electrics, more electrics. And it's just, big, well, well, we'll get into that in a second, but is there anything, so if you had to start again today, so last 50, put that last 50 yeah. and 60, if today was the day you had to start, what do you think the advantages are to starting today? Obviously you've got gear like jail tests and stuff now. What do you think the disadvantages for people setting up so today Pete, as well compared to back in the day? So like now you've got, obviously like you say, you've got all the, yeah. all the support. You've got the support like with your diagnostics and everything like that. That makes life a lot easier. But, I think it's a lot harder now than it was when mm. we started doing it because you need a lot more different stuff. There's a lot more different rules. There's a lot more it's, yeah, regulations, regulations, health and safety and all that. And it all, it all knocks on. So I yeah. think now if you're setting up doing it now, it's hard. Yeah. Very hard. Just go set up in a country where they don't care about it. Yeah. Health and safety is out the window. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Be fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's so hard now. And as well, it's, you've got to have a lot of money behind you mm. to do it because mm. like, we always get... Um, Why well, Chalice is well cheap with Eclipse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not bad. No, no, no. <laughs> but like, it's not just that as well. It's like, you, you start doing it and you go, oh, I'll get a bloke work for me. But they're wanting like 20, 25 pound yeah. an hour. Yep. No one in their right mind can pay that. Yeah. And it's only the whole, like for myself, it's hard for myself because I can't pay that sort of money and I no. don't pay my lads that sort of money. But you got like your haulage companies that are ruining it for the retail garage like myself mm. because they're going, yeah, all right, mate, you come work for us. Yeah. We'll pay you £24 an hour. We'll pay you £24 an hour, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's fine because they're not paying £50 an hour in a workshop. Yeah. So to them, it's cheap, isn't it? Yeah. And then like, then to me, it's like, if I've got to pay my, and then my lads will say, oh, I'd like that sort of money. Right. If I paid you that sort of money, I've got to be charging £100 an hour in this workshop. Mm. If yeah. we've got no customers, you ain't got a job. Yeah. And it's, simple as that i said where do you think my money comes from mm, yeah <laughs> it comes from the customer yeah and as the the screw gets turned tighter and tighter on haulage companies they turn the screw tighter and tighter on you and yeah yeah it's a vicious cycle that unfortunately the industry's in isn't it yeah and it's mad like when i sit and do some i'll go through some invoices with ellen and we'll sit there and i'll go god that's four grand that job that's mm. five grand that's six grand seven eight nine you get to, and i was like i've never ever thought it would be like that. I can yeah. remember dad when he used to do mum and dad used to do invoices. Mum's like, Oh, I don't know about this cost must nine hundred pounds that engine build. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, Oh, he's gonna struggle. He has yeah. I think to pay that and then they come in and say, Can I give you a hundred pound a week? Yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, you sure, think, oh. sure. I mean, is that I mean, fairly recently obviously parts and whatever have just gone sky high, haven't Everything's they? ridiculous. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Because what they've done it for, I think so if you look at a part, you buy a part for a vehicle. And it's probably, say it's a knock sensor at five, 600 quid comes in a box like that. Mm. You buy that truck for say 125,000 pounds. So they're doing it on sale of the truck. Cause if you wanted to buy every single part to build that truck, you wouldn't cost you 120,000 no. pounds, would it? No. It would be mm. astronomical. Yeah. Mm. So they're just doing it. Well, I always think this is sometimes you almost think, is it programmed to fail? Of course <laughs> yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah, which is yeah, fine for you, I suppose. Yeah. But it, it, it's, it's, it's the, they have almost a shelf life. Yeah. They? It's, mm. but it's funny, like when you buy a car or a truck, that's how much it is. And then you work out if you were to buy the parts for it later down the line yeah. and you put all them together and build your own truck at the prices that they sell the parts at. It'd be like five times more than the actual truck. Was, yeah. <laughs> it's mental. It's mental. Yeah. Absolutely mad. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely mad. So, yeah, it's 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 mental. But to be fair, for business, Euro Six done me the world of good. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> I heard that one of your videos the other day. Actually, yeah, yeah. brilliant. I couldn't yeah. believe it. I yeah. think Euro Six, yeah, lovely. Thanks very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Whoever designed Euro Six, sorry to the whole year, but yeah. to me, you've done me the world. Yeah, good. yeah. and thank it's you. only going to get better or yeah. worse. Yeah, yeah. 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 Space, That's yeah. like we said. Tim said, well, let's hope for Euro Sevens just Seven. as good, Sean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, on that, what what do you think you'll be repairing in ten years? I don't know. It's mad, isn't it? Truck. Yeah, it's oh, maybe. Yeah. God. yeah, yeah. Well, however, they would make that one work. <sighs> it's not gonna. I no, I, I can't see it. No, 
I can't see. You're not going to do what you do now with it. No. There is a few about there. Yeah. Volvo have done a few. Mm. It's got a range of about 300 miles. If that, yeah. And that's what they claim. Yeah. Well, they claim 300 miles, but yeah. is it really going to be? Yeah. This is yeah. the thing. And as yeah. a local haulier to me, he's got one that does like a little pallet network job. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Round all the towns and that. Mm. And that's electric. Mm. But don't know but yeah. it's funny though isn't it because if it breaks down because the battery's gone flat the old fitter turns up in your van with his diesel <laughs> generator in the back to charge, <laughs> charge it up, it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, well, it, 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 oh no. it's mad it's, it's completely backwards yeah. well it? if you look at the state of electric cars like yes they're out there there are out there you know mm. probably one every five cars you see now is electric yeah that's nowhere near what we need to be up at for no. them to go, what is it, 2035 oh, or 2030 difficult. or whatever it is yeah. now. It's just not going to happen. No. Not going to happen. No. And if it did, especially in our, we're pretty useless at everything now. If our government's on it and guarantee it's not going to it's not going to happen like HS2, but it would just tip over tomorrow. Yeah. Like One, the grid can't take it. Two, there's nowhere to charge them anyway. We're already fighting over spots or yeah. they are because I won't buy one. Um, you know, we'll, we'll figure out a way. We'll be buying 20 year old cars. Oh, I'd rather be buying some, some old classic. I, I wouldn't buy one. I must no. admit, right. And I'm not, a, I'm not an electric fan. No. But I took my car in for a service. Mm. So I took, dropped it off at BMW and they went, yeah, we've got your car today, sir. Yeah. Lovely. All right. This is your car. This is BMW. It's fully electric. Oh. I thought, oh, God. Mate. Yeah. I thought, That's what? right. I walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought, yeah. Oh. Yeah. He said, where are you planning on going? What's it got to do with you? Yeah. Yeah. He said, where are you planning? I said, well, all right. Okay. I'm going, I'm going to go to work home. So it's 20 miles this way. 20. Oh yes. Fine. So you're going to do say 50 miles. Should we say in it? Yeah. Oh, it's got enough charge. It's got 180 mile radius. <laughs> okay. So I pulled out the forecourt with it and I pulled out onto the dual carriageway and I thought, I wonder what these go like. I stuck my foot down. I thought, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Like, I thought, God, this is quick. So anyway, it was literally 20 miles back to home. Mm. So I hammered it all the way home and then I, um, I was like, oh, that's quite impressive, that was. Mm. I was like, quite impressed with the pickup and how it went. Took my brother-in-law for a quick spin in it, and he was yeah. like, oh, he said, yeah, that's something else. Took it back, and it got about 25 mile of range oh, left Jesus. on it. Yeah. I and thought, you- and I'd got 180 to start with. Wow. Yeah. He said, where have you been in it? I said, what I told you. Yeah. I said, home, back. I said, I nipped up the road once and back again with my brother-in-law, took him for a ride. Yeah. It was like, well, you must have hammered it. No, I didn't know. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. The thing is, you, this, this is the thing though. They do yeah. have a lot of power. And what was that thing of was, uh, you know, you can microwave your steak or, you know, you can cook it and like probably like yeah. the whole comparison. I can't remember what the, uh, what the saying is, but right. for me, it is quite sad when you go and buy a performance car and then there's like an electric MG that could absolutely slaughter oh, I've you. I've had it. I literally yeah. had it in mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> something, something's <laughs> wrong about that. Yeah, something's no, not right. It's not good. No, 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 I know, no, I know. No. But uh, are, you, are you a big car fan then? Got to be driving a BMW, I suppose, don't you? Yeah, it's an X5. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do like my cars. I've always yeah. liked cars. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Um, and I probably would have had different, some nicer cars, bits and bobs and that, but mm. then, you know. But you've been a busy man. <laughs> yeah. And then I did really, uh, my racing sort of took over a little bit for a little while. Okay. Um, Expensive hobby. Very. That's why I had to, well, yeah. not why I had to retire it, but it was like getting to the point. Yeah. I was finishing work on a Thursday um, and then I'd leave the boys running it and, and it got to the point where Helen used to come with me and we'd go Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, home, back to work Monday. I'd be like, oh God. Yeah. And then Helen started staying at home because we got busier and busier at work. So she was helping the lads like organising stuff. And it, it got to the point where we went, she sat me down end of last year and I got home and it, it, we went to Alton Park and I was racing there and I had a really rubbish weekend. I lost my transponder off my car. I binned it at Shell Oil's hairpin in the gravel in the wet. And I was like, I was absolutely soaking wet through. And my father and Lord come with me and I said, I've had enough of this. He said, what? I said, this weekend has done me. Got home, sat down, we was talking about it. And um, she said, would you like me to add up what you've spent this season? I was like, <laughs> nope. no, not really. She said, well, I've done it anyway. Oh, of course. Like, oh. of course. She went, yeah, you spent £33,000. Oh my like, God. What? Oh, I was like, right, okay. Yeah. yeah. Something needs to, yeah. 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 Something's got to give somewhere, yeah, isn't it? So, yeah. Yeah. Which you could buy a Taycan, keep it for three years, no, <laughs> lose the same amount of money for that. <laughs> I'd rather not still. Have you seen that? Hundred and was it 160 grand? And then after three or four years, they're worth 60 grand. I watched grand. videos the other day, yeah. 25 it, it, grand yeah. a year. So you're going to right. spend two and a half grand a month, then mm. your insurance, then your tax, blah, 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 all this bollocks. And then, well, by then, you, what you could have bought with that money, craziness, yeah. anyway. Okay. Electric cars. 
Get in the bin. Get in the bin. Yeah. In the bin. Yeah. <laughs> in the bin, in the bin. <laughs> yeah. So God knows what you'll be doing with Euro Seven. What Euro Seven is going to be looking we like? We don't but know. Yeah. Probably I'd more, be interesting. more exhaust. Uh, yeah. Oxygen. Hydrogen. Yeah. I've heard Hydrogen. it's more a case of aerodynamics. It might oh, be completely it? wrong, but um, a mix of either hybrid or, or literally sticking a spoiler on your scanny yes <laughs> <laughs> pretty much yeah yeah, yeah. 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 reduced drag that's yeah. it yeah because yeah. you're a, you're DRS. a daft man really aren't you I do like mm. dafts yeah 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 yeah. Mm. I've, I don't know that was a thing when I went and worked for that other man years mm. ago that other company um, there was a customer that used to come in there and he had some left hand drive 95 XF dafts the mm. very early ones before, obviously before the yeah, yeah. 5 before the yeah. 105 and I always liked him Mm. always loved them and I was like oh they're brilliant they are. yeah I like them and then from this ever, it's stuck ever since mm, mm. Um, I suppose what you know isn't it really yeah you've you, you sort of been around them for a- I went for a big stage of doing all I'd done was daft for ages so like when the Euro 5 was out there was so many wire involved <laughs> yeah. yeah and uh, I'd be like yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. And it was like, I was having wiring looms out of daft, like they were going out of fashion. I was like, there was a customer say, well, you've repaired that wire three times now. I said, no, I've not repaired that wire. I've repaired <laughs> mm. a multitude of wires in that same loom. Yeah, yeah. I said, now you need a loom. You mm. know, they're like, oh, really? Yeah. And, it, and th- that was how they were. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, I like the newer dafts now. Yeah, I think they're doing a really good job actually with the the, the, the new generation. Um, so you've got the what is it now X XB X- the LF yeah XG XD XD and then all the pluses yeah. or whatever isn't it yeah. Yeah. they've all got cameras for mirrors haven't they yeah. they have I know so which... it was like Friday morning I had to take a Merc for MOT mm. for a customer of mine started up got in it started up looked in me in my little screens and I was like I can't see nothing mm. under the window I just wiped my camera <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah wiped my camera yeah. Yeah. Side, so and unpractical then you can... yeah it's, it's... I've never known something to be so mixed opinion some people absolutely swear by them love them because they yeah. turn with the trailers and stuff yeah which yeah, I get is good but then some people absolutely despise I don't them. like them yeah. I can't get on with them yeah. you gotta go round a roundabout and I look in the mirror and I'm like <laughs> where's, the where's the mirror got? oh it's there yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, can, I can imagine it's quite difficult jumping out of mirrors into cameras yeah and, it's yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah, because I'm in and out of different vehicles all day yeah. long. But it's ridiculous because I've recovered Arctics yeah. for someone where that camera is. They've knocked that camera off. Mm. Can't oh, drive yeah. it. Of course. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you do then? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally, and then you're, what, probably a few thousand pounds later and you repair it. <laughs> it's lovely. Yeah, thank yeah, you very much. Thanks yeah. very much, yeah. But from, I suppose from one end of the scale to the other, you've just, um, is it this scam or you've just, um, yeah. is, it, is that, was, was that a restoration job, was it? That or? was a father-in-law. So okay. he brought that, uh, just there, look, fact, father-in-law, yeah. There there, yeah. <laughs> um, he brought that, well, it must have been about five years ago, and he said, I'm going to look at this scam or crusader, Sean. Do you want to come with me? I said, oh, well, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, come on then, I'll go and have a look. Anyway, like I always do, we turned up there, we had a look, and I went, he said, what do you think? I said, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I should have really, in hindsight, gone, nah, it's an absolute heap of crap. Leave it where it is. But I was like, no, no, that's all right, it's all right. So anyway, he buys it, doesn't he? He says, right, when are you going to do it for me? I said, what do you mean, when am I going to do it? He's <laughs> yeah, like, it's yeah. not turning to your project. Yeah. Now, his hobby is now my hobby. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So we... Oh, we stripped it and we was like, we left it for ages and ages and ages. Then he said, I'm going to get a bloke to paint it. It's like, right, okay. So we got a bloke to paint it. And it didn't make a bad job. It weren't the best, but it was all right. And then when he got it back, I said, right, what are we doing with it then? Is it going to, because it was a rigid. I said, is it going to stay a rigid and we're putting a little body on it? What are we doing? He went, oh, no, I want it as a tractor unit because I want to buy a low loader and I'll put a living box on the top of this low loader and I want to put my 1940s GMC on the low loader on the back. I was like, Oh, so you got it all mapped out what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll crack on them. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we've done. And I think we've done it in about, I think it took us about two and a half, three months. Just me and Oscar did have a couple of days in the week where we'd like, well, we actually had a whole week on it once. Yeah. Um, he went off on holiday and was like, right, while he's away, he'll have no input. Let's get it in and make a start. And I said, oh, in a week, we should be a good stead in. Mm. In a week, we weren't very far. We was like, because oh, everything, you had to make everything for it. Okay. Nothing. No parts. You, you can't buy no parts for it. And even like simple thing like, right, well, we're going to move this air tank, um, lengthen the pipes. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All the fittings are imperial, not metric. All you can get is metric. Mm. So it's like so hard, so yeah. hard doing it. Yeah. Um, One step forward, two steps back, every yeah, every job. Not, yeah, every job. It was like, this job should take me half hour. No, this job's took me three hours. Mm. And yeah. yeah, we got there with it. We got there in the end with it. Like when we'd done it all, um, 
we stood back, I like sort of stood back and I thought, yeah, that looks mm. the nuts. That, yeah. does, that does look nice now we've done it. Cause like he said to me, I want sun visor. He said, I've been looking everywhere for a sun visor for it. He said, I said, you can't get them, can you? He said, no, no, can't get them for them or nothing. So we got one off a 105 DAF mm -hmm. and I just looked, I held it up against it. Me and Oscar held it up against it. Oscar said, well, if we just space that out there and there, Sean. He said, that'll go, that will. I said, <laughs> really? do you think? He said, yeah, that'll go. And we did. And it sure worked. Worked. Bang, yeah. yeah. Wow. And it was just silly little things that we'd done with it. Like that, yeah. mm. that little lorry there, mm. this father-in-law's, he's had that. 35 years wow no way and he's only just got it on the road five years ago oh bless him it's a good job yeah. you're not creating repair times for that sort oh. of stuff yeah. <laughs> 100 pound an hour yeah. 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 but he'd done that all himself it was yeah. like yeah could take anywhere between two weeks and two years yeah that yeah. one had took it, well to be fair he built he brought it in 1985 that little lorry yeah when I was born, you wow. know, I was born, he brought that lorry mm. and didn't get it on the road till five years ago. <laughs> well, it's been... Uh, really? Been yeah. Been love them, yeah. Though, yeah. It has been... But it's something you can look back at now, I suppose, and uh, it's all been worth the... Uh the headache. It's a lifestyle, isn't it? It's not a, it's not a career. It's not yeah. a, you chose a lifestyle. Oh, school, yeah, to be fair. They asked you, what do you want to do when you grow up? You, did, they, you didn't answer that with what career. You chose a life. Yeah, yeah. That, is it. <laughs> that is literally it. And yeah. you've got... A, and as well with this job, you've got to... One, you've either it's either a single man's job, or you've got a real good woman and understanding yeah. woman behind you. Because yeah. some of the things, if you want to do like, because like when people come work for me, I want to drive that wrecker. I want to do this. I said that ain't all glitz and glam. What you think it is? I said when that's chucking it down the rain at three o'clock in the morning on the hard shoulder of the M6, hooking someone up, you're thinking, what am I doing? Yeah. And we're going to make it home after all yeah. this. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So yes, you might want to drive that, but you've got to realise that this. There ain't no, you know, there ain't nothing nice about it. Mm -hmm. Nothing ni nice about it. Like I could be in, I could work all day in a workshop, go in, have my tea, 10 o'clock at night, phone rings, and I'll be out all night. Mm -hmm. I used to survive on like so little sleep. Yeah. It was mental. And I don't know how I did it because like now I can't, I'm not as good as it as well. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's no all right whilst you're, whilst you're, uh, yeah, you know, it's one of those things, I suppose, now you've got good staff behind you as well. Yeah. You, know, it's some, you can trust them to, to, to do yeah, that. Yeah, you, you know? can. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can trust them to do stuff. Mm. They, they, and they all get on really well. You know, they do good. get on really well. Um, sometimes they don't like to make a decision, but yeah. it's not your money. Someone, yeah. someone always does, don't want to make a decision, do they? But, you know, they've, they've yeah. come a long way. Yeah. We've come a long way, really, with and what it, we've done. It does show, to be honest. That's, yeah, we that's have good. come a long way from from where I used to watch Dad and how he used to struggle and think. Yeah, it's maybe made you more um, ambitious, if you like, to go, actually, no, this can be a lot easier. Yeah. And, and yeah, and I, I think I learned a lot as well in the past, as well from my granddad, because he was always, he was a farmer, but he was always right. Stick your neck on the line. Mm. Stick your neck on the line. Take a risk. Take a risk. And my mum was always very much no, no, no. Right. And dad used to moan at me because I brought two service vans and I brought all brand new tools for each van, everything like that. Dad said, You're just like your granddad. I said, why? He said, well, when he was on a farm, if he brought two plows, he'd have to have two tractors. So the men didn't waste time. Mm. <sighs> Hooking up and dropping up. When, yeah. like, when dad was doing, dad said, Well, I don't see why you need all these tools like this in this van and the snap on box and that van, this, that, and the other, and that, that. I said, Well, I, they can't do it like you done it. He said, Well, I just used to pick my toolbox up, chuck it in my van, think to myself, I'm going on a breakdown. What do I need? Chuck that in out the workshop. I said, It doesn't yeah. work like that. Can't do it. Can't no. do it like that no more. No. Mm. So, yeah. It's... Everybody wants things done yesterday. Oh. Yeah. But everybody wants them done to the same standards that your dad would have done years ago. Yeah. But they want it done in 10 minutes. Yeah. It don't work, does it? No. It don't happen. It don't happen. They're all the same. That's what I always say. People say, do you enjoy your job? Yeah, I do enjoy my job. Yeah. Just got real dislike for people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sounds, 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 sounds similar. Yeah, it'd be yeah. brilliant if I didn't have no customers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it'd be brilliant if I didn't have to talk to customers and trucks just rolled in and I knew it'd, it'd yeah. be brilliant. Yeah, yeah. The keys left on the desk. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. But that is the world we live in. Isn't yeah, it, it is. Um, Absolutely. Absolutely. No one can wait five minutes now. No. Mm. It does stress me out some days. I'll yeah. be in that workshop and I think, God, take, I've got this in phones. My mobile's ringing and then Helen shouting me for me across the office. Sean, I'm like, no, just leave me alone. I said, <laughs> and then so and so yeah. wants this doing. Well, tell me how to wait. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. I, I can't, I can't do everything. Can no, you? no. Suppose then what made you um, sort of start 
the social media side of things, like the YouTube channel. It, was was that uh, when you met Tim? Was yeah, it? that was. Yeah. yeah, to be fair, that was when I met Tim. Mm-hmm. Um, and Helen wanted to do it more than I did. To oh, be did she? Fair. Yeah, yeah. She yeah. said, "I said, will you do it to start with?" And she was like, "Well, people don't know who I am and don't like me. They like you." I was yeah. like, "I don't know why they like me, but yeah, okay." Um, yeah, and that was really from that. And Tim said to me, "Oh yeah, do a bit yourself." You know, it just mm. it just gets you out there as well. And it has helped the business as well, Good. massively. Yeah. Mm. We're quite surprised how much through it work wise we oh, got. Really? Mm, yeah, we have, yeah. We got a contract with one company literally through watching me on Tim's videos. Oh wow. Well, and good. they got like thirty trailers, um, ten track units and stuff like that. So nice. it's massive amounts yeah. of work just but, through that. But it's just like a friendly acknowledgement. Oh yeah, you, you do the oh, I've seen you, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So and that's another mad thing, really. You go out somewhere, like I was in a services the other week and this bloke walks up to me and he goes, Sean. <laughs> and I'm like, my oh, mate. Like, like, you know, is you you're, you're off it- Trucker Tim channel. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they speak to you like they've known you all their life. Yeah, you're thinking, you know, you think, this bloke? Yeah, yeah. I don't know you, yeah, you know. But he, and that yeah. was weird for me to start mm. with. That was really weird. Yeah, I can that imagine, was, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was really, yeah. really weird. But do you get that quite a lot, then? Yeah, fair bit. Yeah, mm, can imagine you do. Yeah, yeah. and the yeah. boys get it a little bit if they go out in the recovery truck. Like Oscar gets it as well, and Kyle will get it sometimes when they go out. They'll say, you know, because they've seen them on there yeah. with Tim and bits and bulbs. So, mm. yeah, the boys do get it as well. It's um, it's massive. It is hard. It, well, not hard, but it's a bit weird to get used to. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and like when Tim first said to me, "Come truck fest," I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll come truck fest with you." Stand with me, he said, and we'll do. And the people coming up to me, I was like, "Oh my god, what is going on here?" Like, and then yeah. some kids were like shaking, and I was like, "What's the matter?" There was like, "Oh, I'm just so overwhelmed." I said, "I'm just oh. a normal person." And yeah. I said, "You know, I'm no different. I was the same as you at that age. Mm. You know, just yeah. like trucks and." Yeah. Yes, yeah, man. Which is a good pointer, I suppose, of the future. You know, hopefully what Tim does, what yourself does with, with social media, it will sort of, I guess, sort of shape their, what they want to do, if you like. Hope, people say yeah. it's not enough drivers. There's not enough people wanting to go into workshops. Well, hopefully doing what you're doing will, will sort yeah. of carve their. This is it. We hope so. Yeah. Um, Cause like you say, there isn't enough people coming in and mm. into our job. Yeah. Kids nowadays, they want to be on the computers they want to mm. do this that and the other and they, they don't want to be cold dirty no you know they don't want to be laying underneath a truck and get <laughs> covered in all sorts no. some do some don't but then you know you get some of them that will come and work for you <clears throat> and they're so good with their hands it's their paperwork side that lets them down okay and when i was younger i always kept thinking like i always thought oh, i don't need to learn at school don't need to learn at school but you do because mm. of now i'm like I was lucky that I I was dyslexic at school Mm -hmm. and my mum paid for me to go extra lessons once a week after school. Yeah. Which I I hated. I hated my mum for it. Same here. You don't respect it at the time. Uh, In fact, it's such an inconvenience. You've got to do more than every other kid. Yeah. 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 Uh, Yes. uh, But then later in life, you actually, yeah, well, yeah, actually that did, that did. I absolutely hated Mm. it. I did. Mm. But now I, all right, I don't know if I, I've never said thank you to my mum, so I don't know if this should be the <laughs> yeah, first time. That's the official thank you if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah if, I, if I hadn't have done that, then mm. yeah. it would have been hard, really hard work. Mm. Really hard work. But good job I got Helen, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah exactly. That's, like, that's why it's a good um, a good sort of, uh, again, duo that you've got really. You know, you're, you're managing the business knowing that, admin and all the sort of financials in the background is all being dealt yeah. with and you can sort of not forget about it but you know that it's yeah, being looked ask after me a few things now and then yeah. but she does sometimes get a little bit excited and starts to tell <laughs> okay. me what i'm doing and then i said well hang on a minute you're in here yeah. <laughs> you stay just there you will let me worry about out there. Yeah. You, know? you keep your heater on yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. oh no we've had to have an air con machine oh, now. oh really we've had to have an air con machine oh, now okay. yeah that's yeah. it so yeah. right it's getting extreme that's now. the next thing now. creating a monster <laughs> She's like, it's too hot in here. It's too hot. It's too hot. It's too hot. Oh, oh, it. Okay, we winter yeah. soon. Yeah. <laughs> what have already got the heat on in this yeah. new office? Oh uh, yeah. There's yeah. two of them in there. There's Helen and the other girl in there, and they've already got the heating on. They had it on last week. I went in there last week. I said, God, it's hot in here. They was like, Yeah, we have got the heating on. I said, We money, don't have money. no heat out there. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Put the desk in the yard. No, yeah. No, oh, no. It's just mad. <laughs> what advice do you have for young lads thinking about going into college to do this or? getting into it what advice would you get to anybody give to anybody i would say pick it wisely what you want to do if you want to do this 
then you got to work hard, listen at who's teaching you. Mm. Cause it's, some people think it's all fun and games and it's not, it is a real serious industry to be in and you've got to really work hard at it. And definitely like you got, you got to do your English and maths at school because that makes mm. a massive thing. Cause everything now is paperwork, mm. everything, your inspection sheets and that like that and all your job cards you've got to write out. So that's what's most as important as learning the trade of fixing, it's okay fixing the truck, but that might take you an hour after you fix that truck mm. to write up everything so that that person knows how to invoice it out. So, mm. yeah, it's not all just, oh, I don't want to learn school because yeah. I can just do, I'm going to work <laughs> on trucks. Yeah. Do it both. And yeah, just, just try hard really with it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You're absolutely right. You know, I don't agree with everything that's being taught in school these schools no. these days, but English and maths. Yeah. Yeah. English and maths, that's, that's it. That's happen. all I'd worry about, yeah. personally. Yeah. No, you're yeah the right. things that they teach now is a bit. Yeah. I know. I know. Yes. Yeah. Another subject. Yes. <laughs> yes. I suppose, yes. Um, well, last one's then for you. W- what's the plans? Okay. What's the plans for the next five years? Well, do you, where do you want to be? Comfortable. Yeah. More comfortable than <laughs> yeah. I have yeah. After Pay this workshop off. Yeah. yeah. That out of the way. Yeah. Um, I think, really, where we're at now is I don't really think I need to push anymore. Mm. I've pushed it very hard, very quickly. And I've seen a lot of people try to do what we've done and it's not worked out for them Um, because you can't do it overnight. It takes a long time. It took me 15 years, 16 years on top of my dad's original whatever. He started in 83 and he's Mm. still main part of it now. So I think where we are now, probably the last thing I would do is if I could get an ATF there Mm -hmm. and that would be it. And then, yeah, we've got the recovery. We've got the service van side of it. We've got the workshop. We've got the tacos. So, yeah, I think that would be it really. Mm. Just an ATF to finish it. Yeah. And that's it. I don't think I could push it because it gets too big and then Mm. it can get out of your control. That's what people do. They they, they expand to the point where they literally can't, Manage what's in front of them. <laughs> I have days yeah. and I, I can yeah. go home at night and I'll sit there and I'll go. <laughs> yeah. She goes, what's the matter? I'm like, just thinking about tomorrow now. Yeah, already, you know. yeah. But live for today and just keep doing what you're doing. It's, yeah. yeah. And that's, that's all we can do really. Yeah. I think. Take one thing at a time. Yeah. And I always worry and take it personally. If a customer says, oh, I'm leaving you, I'm going somewhere mm. else. I'll take it naturally. Really yeah. And I'm like, well, have I not give you a good enough service? Is this, is that? And they're like, no, no, no. We just, for us financially and this and that, and as a business, this is a better move for us. Mm. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. And then you think, oh my God, because yeah. it's like, you don't realise. When I first started doing it, I didn't realise the responsibilities of it. And then when I started employing people, didn't realise that, I'm responsible for their mortgage each mm. month. Yeah. I'm responsible for putting clothes on their kids. And if I don't keep their work going, that's down to me, isn't it? And it's yeah. like, then when you think about it, yeah. and then they go at me, oh, Sean, why are you being such an arse? Yeah, yeah. And I'm like- You don't get it. Yeah. You yeah. don't get it. Yeah. You know, when I'm standing screaming at you saying, I need that done, I need that, you know, I'm trying to keep the man at the end of the phone happy. Yeah. That's the biggest thing, yeah, keeping nice. that person who's at the end of the phone, paying that invoice yeah. for that vehicle happy. Yeah. Do you find the accountability? Because I always find like that sort of pressure, I, I'm even better because of the accountability for it. Do you find that keeps you, you know, operating at that top level? Uh, yeah, I think it does, yeah. to be fair. It does keep you well, um, well, keeps Focused you well on, on your toes, yeah. it, I think, yeah. is, the, mm. is really. Um, but it's just... It's, it, yeah, if you wasn't on it all the time, mm. things could slip away and you wouldn't realise that it like that. And it, it's keeping your reputation as well going because that's another massive thing. Yeah. Because it takes all that time to get yourself a good reputation of over five night, minutes to lose it. Mm. Literally, you can lose it within five minutes. So, especially in this industry, because, you know, we all know what lorry drivers are like, don't we? <laughs> <Bad>? No, no. What do you mean? I've, I've never heard anybody say a bad word about lorry drivers. <laughs> Certainly not mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. And it, it, it's, it's mental with, yeah. yeah, the things that go on really, mm. but no, we enjoy it, I think. Yeah. Some it, days we sit there and think, why? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. But Could have been an accountant. <laughs> no, I ain't clever enough for that. I think my brother had the right idea because my yeah. brother never bothered and then he went to be a mortgage advisor and now yeah. he does equity release. Okay. Yeah. And he does that now, but he was always really clever. He yeah. Was, you know, he'd done his A-levels as soon as I finished school. I was the one who was at school where they'd ring and ask mum if they could, if um, if she could come and pick me up from school and yeah. <laughs> because they didn't want me there no more, <laughs> you know. And I should have tried harder at school. And even at college, I never tried. Mm. I got, I'd done um, two years at college and when I went to go back from my th- last year, they said, they rung my dad and they said, we don't really want Sean to come back. Yeah. It was like, Dad was like, why? They was like, it's not because he's not a good student. Well, we say not a good student. They said, he knows what he's doing. He's very clever at what he does. He said, but he gets everything done before everyone else. And then we say, to him, we'll find yourself something to do. And I ended up getting in trouble for like undoing spark plugs on the bench engines and running them <laughs> up and firing them out and yeah. <laughs> doing all sorts yeah. of stupid yeah. things, which now I look back, I think, why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do stupid yeah. things like that? But yeah. you were just itching to, to get out and yeah. do your own thing. That's, well, it's that's- amazing. Isn't it? it's, they tell you it's the most important thing, you know, you can do is do well at school and you'll set yourself up for life. Meanwhile, you're a child. Yeah. I know. It's mad. Isn't it, it is crazy. It's, it's yeah. It- and also, dare I say it as well. I mean, do your best at school work. Ab- if you do your best, you'll never have a regret. No, but, it ain't the end of the world. No, it's not the end no, of the world. Not no, it's not at all. Not at all. As long as, you know, like I say, as long as you've got a good understanding of what's going on in the world yeah. outside mm-hmm. and you're switched on. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. No. You, you'll you get a job. Yeah. You'll mm-hmm. get a job. Um, it's sort of drilled into you for, uh, at school, isn't it? Well, if you don't do well, you'll never be anything in life. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. which to an extent is is, is kind of, yeah. True, but then it's it's not because you can be whatever you want to be. But yeah, it, yeah. You know, it was an end but goal. But failing there. religious studies is not gonna no, stop that's you being not a really, mechanic. Yeah, that, was <laughs> yeah. of, that was one of my no. favourite lessons. That yeah. was yeah. That, yeah. That, yeah. The got us better. Nobody did anything yeah. in those lessons. I no. thought that was like an hour break. But like I, it's it's stupid, really, because they said to me at school, teachers all said, "You'll be a waster. You'll never do yeah. anything with your life." Yeah. And like now, I think, huh, yeah. can you see me now? If, yeah, yeah, see exactly. what I've done now, you know? Yeah. Oh, well, I was in all the bottom sets at school. I wasn't mm-hmm. very clever when my brother got all the brains and I yeah. had learnt like dyslexic mm-hmm. and bits and bobs like that. And um, I even went through a stage as well where I had epilepsy as well as a child. Really? So, yeah, so that made everything like just really hard. Mm-hmm. And like when they was all saying, you're not going to do no good, you ain't going to do this and do, well, yeah. I've done it. Exactly. I've managed. And that's the point where you can look back now and go, yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. And that's what I try to explain to the younger ones. They like, they want it now. They want the big money now mm. in this job. I said, this job, you get paid what you're worth and what you come up the ladder. If someone's going to pay you good money at 18 years old with no experience, hardly, mm. you know, it doesn't work like that. It no. doesn't work like doesn't. that. I was always taught that, you get rewarded for what you learn and you earn what you learn as yeah. such, don't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. That. exactly yeah. That. And it's amazing. You don't realise just how long it takes you to learn. Like yeah. you think you're grown up at 21, you think you're grown up at 25, mm. you know, you, and every year, it's like my dad always says, you know, 25 year old Louis will look back at 21 year old Louis and think, what a tit. And 29 yeah. year old Louis looks back at 25, 25 year old. And uh, yeah, it's amazing how long it takes. Yeah for the mystical, the fog to clear. Yes. For you to actually learn, do you know what? I actually know what I'm doing now. It's when you can look back at mistakes and go, yeah, yeah. that was stupid. That's yeah. when you, you know, yeah. you've- uh, Which is me pretty much every day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I still have days yeah. like that. To yeah. be yeah. fair. Just put me behind the wheel. I still have days like that. <laughs> yeah. We well, did actually search on a few episodes ago. We said, um, you said, oh, uh, you've crashed every car you've ever <laughs> either been given for work or you've ever had. And I turned around and I said, other than this one, I've literally just crashed that one as well. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if a, if there's a mistake to be made on no a daily, man. I'm gonna make it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Carl's yeah. a bit like that. Who works for me? So you know, he's really good at what he does. You know, he, you can't fault him. But when he screws up, it's not mm. like most people go, "Oh, Sean, I've just like I've just scratched that customer's motor." Or, right, okay, okay fair on. enough. We'll sort that. Or I've done this, done that. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We sort it. We'll let the customer know. And we'll do. It. No, Carl is monumentous. Yeah. Like, absolutely massive yeah so we had a bus one day and um i said can you park that double data bus out the back yeah yeah no problem oh no <laughs> so he's backing it up and there was a trailer like an old logging trailer and he's yeah. backing it up to it and it got a big gantry a v-shape at the oh, front no. at the top 
He comes in and sees me. He says, um, need a window for that bus. <laughs> Oh, said, no. Boy. oh no! He said, uh, "Well, you know that gantry on that trailer. Yeah, I've put it through it." Oh, I thought, Jesus! God. God. So I thought, "Oh, well, that'd be all right." It's only, a, you know. So I rung them. I said, "Look, we've had a little accident in the yard, which it happens." Let the customer. I said, "I'll sort it." They said, "Yeah, no problem." Get a gl- glass company out for coaches. Two and a half grand. Oh, I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah. not a mistake. That's I just- said. Why is it every time I said you mess yeah. up? It's like it's a big bill. thousands of pounds, not just a yeah, like inconvenience. On one of the other recovery trucks, he says, we've got a problem with one of the winches. He said, I'll take that winch off. I'll sort that for you, Sean. I said, yeah, well, okay. So he took it all off and it's up quite high. Took it off. He repaired what he wanted to repair. He lifted it back up on his own, thought he'd do it on his own. Fine. Yeah, okay. And he had it on a pallet. And as he slid it, because he put it at the same sort of height like that, so he could slide it across. So as he try to slide it across, the pallet has oh. not got a bit of, like at the bottom. He put the pallet the wrong way around. Yeah. So it sort of like flipped over. Oh, no. The winch landed on the floor and he's <laughs> rung me up. He's like, um, that winch. Yeah. Gone. <laughs> yeah, it's hit the floor. I said, right. Okay. I said, is it all right? No, I smashed it a bit. So he oh, said, it's smashed it. I was like, oh, uh, grand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. oh, wow. Like, the, yeah, yeah. They, they, this but, is why I'm insurance, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but he, yeah. That's mad, but then he won't mess up little the, things on a daily yeah. basis. They're not inconveniences. No, no it's no. just all of a sudden, yeah. bang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Strike again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing, though. When you employ people, yeah. accidents going to happen. Yeah. Things are going to happen. I think it's just the world we live in, isn't it, yeah. really? And, and everything costs so much money now. It doesn't, it doesn't oh, nothing's take, cheap, is it? take yeah. much to, to spend a few yeah. thousand pounds. It'll be on job ads soon. Must not be accident prone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Have you ever been told you're accident prone? Do not apply this job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, and that is it, isn't it? Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that is what it is, I think, almost. There you go. Well, if you've enjoyed this episode with Sean, guys, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and let us know who you want on Talking Shop next.